Hey, 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 everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the Arado 196A3. This is a currently rank 1 battle rating 1.3 light bomber slash hydroplane for the German air tech tree. And essentially, how I'll be playing it and how most people play it is as a fighter because, of course, it has two 20 millimeter cannons forward firing. These are the MGFF cannons, so they do have a drum feed right here, so they do have lesser amounts of ammunition. Plus, I don't think that the ammo belts are as good as what you might see on the mg 151 but regardless these are still 20 millimeter cannons all the way down at 1.3 br plus you also have a single 7.19 or 7.92 rather mg 17 machine gun that comes out the front as well so this is a very very effective aircraft albeit in relatively short bursts while you have those mg ff cannons going now interestingly the swedish air tech tree has the arado 196 a5 and the only real difference that i could see and correct me if i'm wrong is that instead of the defensive turret being a single mg15 as we see here it is two mg 81s if i'm not mistaken and you also have a little bit more ammunition so as you see here you have 525 rounds of ammunition whereas that you have 2000 and of course you have a dual mount defensive armament so it is a bit different but not really all too different everything else looks to be about the same outside of that defensive armament which looks to be a little bit better on the swedish variant now that being said i'll probably take this into two matches maybe three we'll see what happens definitely have a good time but i figured you know what i was going to release this anyways but now that the Arado 196 a3 or the a5 rather is a war bond plane may as well show this off because this is pretty much the same exact thing plus look at this skin that said let's get into it you guys ever hear about weight reduction kits for vehicles like you know cars <laughs> for example well the ultimate weight reduction kit for this thing is just dropping those 50 kilogram bombs and you know it, it you can't not go to a match without them, um, or you can't go without them. You know what I mean. You, basically, they come standard on every single loadout, unfortunately. Now, let's get these 20 millimeter FF cannons, see what they can do. Make them a little tasty here. Get some nice hits, some nice hits. Crits. Come on. Not gonna get the... Oh, got the kill. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Wait, did I get a... I got the kill against the guy behind me. Are you for real? What? That was a triple strike? Are you serious? My defensive gunner killed that guy? I got three kills? Wow. Wow. I was not expecting that, so I'm going to try to land this, but what a hell of a start to a match. Holy guacamole. So I decided to keep the 250 kilogram bombs, go to a base. It looks like there are still some enemies out there, so I may actually have a few more kills, but we'll see. But either way, I want to drop this on a base. Also, this is a BMW engine, and with even just a tiny bit of web, it is overheating. Which doesn't surprise me at all, even after 80 or 90 years, however long it's been, BMW, you still have the same problems. Yeah, you know what? For 250 kilogram bombs, could be worse. So we got a B-18 over here. He's just getting off the airfield. I should be able to catch up with him. Um, hopefully, if I get a good intercept vector, and then maybe get a fourth kill. That'd be a really, really nice first match with this thing in a very long time. You know, aside from the performance on this aircraft, which is obviously not good, uh, the fact is that it really has very little ammunition. You might be saying to yourself, what, 500 rounds of ammo for the MG and 120 for the cannons? Eh, but the rate of fire, I mean, it fires at around 600 meter or uh, rounds per second, or minute rather, that'd be crazy. So using that it just I don't know it just feels like it's uh not all that great especially when you have someone like me who's not the best aimer in the world let's get behind this guy not the best idea by the way to get behind a bomber and start shooting but see if we can set something on fire nice got that not too bad we have the SBD behind us and it looks like my engine cowling is the only thing that really that's been damaged we'll put them flaps on 
Go for this SBD or SB2U rather. He's going down, going down, and got a crit. And about done with my. Yep, there we go. My cannon ammo is gone. Got the kill. Very nice. Double strike. So I'm going to jump down there, see if I can get some other kills. And by the way, I'm not trying to. I don't really like playing low tier. I, I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos where I play low tier. Like, I like playing low tier. Uh, largely because, I mean, some of the planes are the most fun in War Thunder. However, you know, there's a lot of new people. Like, it's not even that, oh, this guy's less skill. It's that the way that War Thunder is set up is that if you don't have enough crew points, for example, with your pilots, you are way more susceptible to being pilot sniped. And I think that's what just happened with that guy back there. You know, I pilot sniped him because he probably just didn't have much vitality, which sucks, you know? I mean, that's really what happens... Uh, when you're shooting an LMG at somebody and they get killed by the LMG, it's because you simply just don't have the vitality. So I'm going to try to go for this P26. I mean, I, thankfully I've got some really good mobility, some good agility rather. So it should help to make up for any sort of deficiencies I have elsewhere. But again, I mean, LMG, it's not really all that great. There we go. Got another pilot snipe. So that's probably going to be about it. I mean, I've killed about a little bit less than half the people on their team. So, let's just get into one more match after this, assuming I don't get another kill here, and uh, make it arcade. You know, have a little bit of fun. I mean, not that this is not fun, but, you know, arcade is just a, a ton of fun, especially at low BRs, and I really suggest people go out and try it. That said, let's get into it. So here we are finally in Air AB. An important thing to note is that in Air AB, this actually sees a slight increase in BR. So it goes from 1.3 to 1.7. And the reason why, I think at least, is because it has an air reload, which at this BR is tremendously advantageous considering it's got relatively low ammunition count for its 20 millimeter cannons. So by being able to just reload those right in the heat of combat, it provides a pretty big advantage. So I'm going to go for this TBD-1 here, see if I can bring him down with relative ease, and yeah, I'll take that as a kill, um, or at least most of a kill. Go for this B-18 here, and hopefully we can do something. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. Okay, got the gunner, and one thing that I will always notice with this aircraft, and it's very unfortunate, is that its engine gets damaged so darn easily, probably around 90% of the time whenever I get killed in this, it's because of my engine being damaged or destroyed. Um, so it's, it's probably one of the biggest weaknesses of this plane. It's got an incredibly uh, weak engine insofar as how much damage it can actually take. But, you know, of course, I can still deal out the damage, which is very, very nice. Uh, time to turn around. Okay, we have some AA attacking me. Got a P-26 coming for a head-on. I'm sure that I'm probably about to die anyways, so let's have a good time. See if we can get him. Got the kill. Turn a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. So I only have 32 rounds left before I'm forced to reload. Let's go for this Hampton. Although that P-26 is not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm going to go for the P-26, being that he's attacking my ally. And also, I only have an LMG left, so let's see if I can pilot snipe. I can save my buddy. Perfect. None too shabby-dabby. Only have 52 rounds left on this. I'm going to go... Oh, you know what? I do have bombs. So I'll go drop my bombs on these guys down here, if I can even make it. Okay. Got three kills, not too shabby. Got five kills against air, three against ground, using the underutilized 50 kilogram bombs. Cannot complain. Got another kill, but now my engine is destroyed. So what I might actually end up doing is, if I can, I might land and see if I can use my gunner uh, as a way to take out these people. But I got one guy left before I finally bite the bullet here. And it's just not going to work. So I'm going to probably die here. Smash into the ground. 
Yes, unfortunately. So that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This was actually really, really fun. I had a good time. Six kills, three ground kills. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know again what you guys want in the future out of me because I am always interested to do what is fun. But thanks again. Thanks again. Can't even speak. And I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.